had rain or, or really, really cold weather around to get in town. And we had, uh, it was you know, very frustrating. Of these Priuses and you. Welcome to another episode of Salty Country. It finally turned out to have a halfway decent day. Uh, supposed to be about 63 degrees today. I've got the excavator fired up. It's been sitting probably for about a month. Uh, the weather's been horrible. Uh, we've had rain or, or really, really cold weather for the south. So um, the ground's still rotten. I was going to get out and do something today, but I'll make more of a mess uh, trying to do what I want to do. And I'm not going to be able to finish it today. And yep, rain's coming back tomorrow. So we're supposed to get heavy storms tonight and rain all day tomorrow somewhere between two or three inches of rain. So anyway, I'm going to let the excavator warm up and then I'm going to talk about the Prius here in a second. All right, for those of you that are new to our channel, uh, we're back on the farm up in Georgia and uh, we purchased the car down in Pensacola, Florida. That's where we have our retirement house. Uh, Melody and I both are getting close to retirement, so um, we go back and forth between the farm and Pensacola often. So anyway, uh, real quick, uh, we put gas in the Prius today for the first time since we've been back at the farm. We got back here two weeks ago. We... Got gas at Bucky's in Alabama, which is 80 miles from the house. Drove home 80 miles, and Melody went to work for the past two weeks and whatever running around she did in town. And we had three eighths of a tank. It was halfway between a quarter and a half a tank still in the car. So, very, very pleased with the fuel economy don't have any complaints about the car uh, melody had a rav4 hybrid she loved that thing um, she wasn't really 100 percent sure how she was going to like this thing but she's driven it a couple weeks says she loved it so um i got in the, uh maybe see what was it yesterday we went out to eat dinner last night. I drove it for the first time. And uh, it drives like a dream. It, it doesn't have the uh, old Prius feel. Our 2012 Prius was slow. This Prius feels more like a sports car. I want to share my experience I had today at Toyota. Uh, Melly and I ran over to Alabama to do some shopping over there at a uh, Sam's uh, wholesale uh, store. Um, on the way out there, I said, hey, I'm going to run by the Toyota dealership before the service department closes because it's a Saturday. And typically out here, they'll close around lunch on the service department. Some of them stay up a little later, but Anyway, stopped by the service department. I wanted to get the part number for the wheels. And let's we'll look real quick. Her car has this style wheel. Well, I go in the, and let me back up for a second. Uh, most of you know that the Prius is do not come with a spare tire. So I've been doing some research. There's a company that makes uh, the foam, hard foam in the trunk area replacement so that you can put a spare tire in. So my thought was that I wanted to buy a full-size factory 
spare. So I've been looking for rims. So anyway, I found one and I wanted to confirm it's a takeoff. I wanted to confirm that it's the same part number. I guess there's a couple different shades that of gray or, or charcoal or whatever they do in those rims. So anyway, I walk into the Toyota dealership, go to the service department or the sales parts department, and I asked the guy, I said, hey, I need to get the part number for the wheel on my brand new Prius. And the guy was like, we don't give out part numbers. And I was like, are you kidding me? I've got a brand new Prius that I just purchased and you're telling me you will not give me the part number from the wheels that's on my car. Nope. We don't give out part numbers. Uh, so anyway, uh, he and I had a couple short words and I said, okay, let's try this. Can you give me a written quote for a replacement wheel for my car if I give you the VIN? Oh yeah, I can do that. So anyway, the guy goes back after I give him the VIN. He comes back and says, uh, it's still giving me two options and I, I'm not going to give you uh, a quote because I can't decipher between which two wheels it is. And all, the only difference is, is is the color of the charcoal or the gray or whatever on the wheel. He said, so you, you'll have to look on the back side of the rim. There's some kind of ID tag and you'll have to provide that before I'll give you a quote because I got to have that information. So anyway, they're, they're useless. So um, if anybody's watching this and they have the Toyota 19 inch wheel for a 2024 part number, if, you, if there's two part numbers for the different shades of charcoal that's on the wheel, if you would share it with me. Um, it was, you know, very frustrating, but, uh, anyway, um, my thought is there's a company that makes a replacement foam in the trunk for like a spare tire and a donut. My thought is if I can get a factory wheel with a factory tire on it. So it's got, these. Ha this car has Michelin's on it. I'm gonna get the wheel and the tire mounted. I'm gonna reach out to this company that sells this foam kit and see if they, if, if the full size will fit. I don't think it will. I think the donuts are a little bit smaller, but I'm going to reach out to them and see if they will build one that will fit a full size. If not, I'm going to reach out to somebody that's got a 3D printer and see if I can get a custom made spare tire holder for the trunk area. Um, if you, uh, you know, if you are not familiar with the, the new concept that uh, Prius did on these last two year models, um, they don't have spares and I think the government regulation should be that they have to provide spares but um, a couple years ago I was on a job site and a guy pulled in in a $250,000 Porsche he had just hit a pothole and he said hey I got to call a tow truck do you mind if I park my car here and I was like no it's fine so anyway, he and I were talking. I said, why are you having to call, call a, a tow truck? I said, we'll help you change your tire. And he's like, they don't come with spares. So this has been going on for a while, but I think that all cars should come with a spare tire. You know, now they, they give you a, a tire repair kit so inflator and some 
foam or whatever to put in there. But if you got a gash or or a bad hole in your tire, that, that's not going to help you a bit. So these cars have an odd sized tire uh, on them, and the likelihood of a tire shop having one in stock is probably not going to happen. So if you're on a road trip, have an issue with a tire, you're going to have to get towed and probably taken to a Toyota dealership. And for, hopefully they have a uh, wheel or tire to go on your wheel so they get you, get you back on the road. But part of the warranty system with this car is they'll cover towing. If you have an issue with the wheel or tire and uh, you'll just have to buy the tire. So uh, anyway, I'm, go I'm going to try to uh, get something that works with a full size wheel. I will post my progress with this. Um, worst case scenario, I thought I might have to buy the one that they make, the foam kit for the donut tires and then just modify it once I get it. And I still may have to do that if I can't get someone to make one. So we'll see. By the way, last night when I drove home, it has from us going out to eat, uh, we have some interstate, some city driving, and then several miles of country roads, 64.6 miles per gallon for that trip. So it, it varies in the 40s, depending on how, how hard you're driving it. But it, we've seen from in the 40s to the high 60s of miles per gallon. So anyway, we're very pleased with it. If you, uh, if you have one of these Priuses and you want to share your thoughts, uh, we've had this thing not even a month yet. But we welcome any comments. If you got any questions, uh, don't get caught up with these uh, guys that do these reviews and they don't own a car. So we're, we've kind of committed that as owners, we're going to put on honest reviews. Um, you know, and I see a lot of things on the Prius pages. You know, people aren't happy with the sound system. They're not happy with this. Some people will always have something to complain about. That's just a, just a fact of life. But, you know, so far we're very pleased. Letting this thing run to charge the battery up since it's been sitting for a while. But anyway, I want to thank everyone for watching. Remember, if you like our content, subscribe, share it with your friends. We'll see you on the next one.